Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. I've seen a lot of videos lately of people's pen collections and I got to thinking it would be fun to kind of do an update on mine. It's so much fun to see what people are drawn towards, I think. So I'd like to share mine with you. These are just a couple sort of pens. This is a dip pen. It's great for sampling inks when I remember to use it. I think it's really pretty. I love the fall colors on that. This is something I picked up at the St. Louis Pen Show, and it was just really unique. It was uh, a disposable pen of 1880s, early 1900s, um, used in different businesses. This is a pen I do not use. I did try it a few times. This came with my purchase of, I believe it was a Heart of Darkness, or Heart of Darkness Noodler's Ink. This is the Charlie pen. It's a, um, eyedropper fill and it's just an inexpensive fun little pen to play around with ink so these are my three lamis they're all broad nim this is the mango this is the clear demonstrator and this is i think it's called terracotta or terra red i've seen it differently at different places where i look these are a great everyday sturdy pen um, I, I like the look of them I like the color selections. I do have a blue one that I have loaned, or a more turquoisey one that I've loaned to my daughter-in-law. And then these are probably my favorite, more everyday type pen. These are all Twisby Ecos. <clears throat> um, I think I have them grouped by the nib size. Let me see, yes. So these are 1.1s, broads, and medium. The broad is my favorite. I have really gravitated towards the 1.1. So my last two Twisby purchases were actually 1.1s. Um, the writing with those is more angular. I'd call it more crisp. And I feel like the you could maybe describe the writing with the broad nib is softer, rounder. Um, definitely a nice thick line. Uh, the medium one is almost like a combination between the two. It's a finer line, but still more on the rounded versus kind of angular side. I love these pens. They have been super reliable. I've just had one that kind of got cracked and broken in a few different ways, and I um, gave away one. But other than that, these are my Twisbees, and they are my go-to pen. They're very reliable, and I feel like almost any ink works well with these. Okay, and the next is a little mini collection of my Cavecos. Um, let's put these in order. This one goes over here. So this is my double broad, 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 and fine. This was a gift to me. Um, this is the brass. Well, let me start from the beginning. This is the dark olive, the brass sport, golden espresso, and I think it's just called macchiato. It's fun that those are coffee themed. I like these pens. I um, find them a little persnickety with the inks and running dry sometimes. So I, I think I just need to keep working on finding the best ink combinations. I've had great success with um, Ackerman's Deepwater Blue working well with all of these. This is a favorite feel. That heavyweight is super nice, um, but I do love that thick line of the double broad. And then these are kind of my miscellaneous grouping pens. Uh, there's no two alike here. They're all fun. Um, this is the Franklin Kristoff 03. It's kind of called the antique glass or the like Coke, Coke bottle, blue or green or something um, because it looks like an old Coke bottle, kind of. It's like a vintage glass look. Very pretty pen. I, I like it. It came with an F SIG and that's a very, can be very fine. Um, so I don't use it as often, but when I do, it's so nice to write with. I, I think I just kind of grab more the everyday feel pens. They feel maybe a little more sturdy or something. Like I don't have to be as careful with them, but this is super, super nice writing experience and very unique and beautiful pen. This is my Luminous Amber Bennu pen. Um, the style is called Briolette. So as you can see, it's faceted, it's cigar shaped, 
feels really comfortable to hold and it writes very nicely. No troubles with that at all. This is my Leonardo Memento Zero Venetian Lagoon is on my receipt. I've also heard it called Blue Lagoon or Blue Green Lagoon. It looks similar to one that I think is called Jade and some people have said, um, is that the Jade? No, it's the Lagoon. Um, it does have blue and green in it, but it may not show up as well. This is super nice to write with, beautiful pen. I love that size, um, number six, gold nib. That's gold plated, super pretty. Love how that one feels to hold and to write with. This is the Narwhal Macchiato. So there, I have three coffee names. Um, this one I like writing with too. I kind of bought it on a whim because I, I liked the theme. I liked the look of it. Um, it's an in-house nib. The um, writing experience with this is, is pretty nice, pretty consistent, and I, I like the big size of that pen. This is the... Sailor Pro Gear Slim Blue Green Nebula. And the blue green is, I just have to mention again in case you're not aware, it looks blue to you probably. When I look at it, I don't see that true blue. I see a bluish green. So it's kind of funny because it seems to kind of not appear true to color oftentimes. This is a broad nib. It's a small pen, it writes very nicely. Now I did have to have the nib worked on twice before it was to uh, my satisfaction, but now it, it really writes very, very nice, very smooth, not, not a gushy pen, but a very smooth, pleasant experience. And I think this isn't my newest pen. I think this is my newest pen. This is among my newest, and this is the Opus 88. It's called a Demonstrator. You can see the ink, even though it's orange, and it's looking like a mess. I need to reclean this. I thought I cleaned it last night. Obviously, I did not do a good job, but super fun to write with. I have had um, Monteverde's pumpkin cake in this, and oh my goodness, that's a wonderful ink, and this is a smooth, Nice writing pen. It's been a really fun combination for the fall. See, it goes with the pumpkin. So um, that's it. I know this is brief. I would be happy to answer any questions you have about any of the pens. I would love to hear you comment below on what your favorite pen is or if you have a favorite type of pen. As you can see, I don't venture out a whole lot. I kind of like to get what I know I'm safe with and what I know I can rely on the writing experience being consistent. You know, like the fancy ones are fun to look at, but I don't always, I have found sometimes there's been some disappointment in the quality of the writing, even though the pen's beautiful. So I think that's why I gravitate towards the safe ones. But they are all wonderful, and I love this hobby. I love writing with fountain pens, and they are just something I went into reluctantly, and then once I was hooked, I was hooked, and I have to really think and slow myself down from accumulating more. So anyway, they're a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed seeing that little brief presentation of my, my ink pens, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.